Urgent news guys, Ethereum hitting all time highs. What do we do next? Hopium dealers are out there dishing out their doses of hopium. Now we've got to get onto the nopium. Now the urgent part, of course, Ethereum's going up. We're going to hit 10,000? Probably. We're going to hit 20,000? Maybe. We're going to hit 100,000 at some point in the future. Yes. The urgent part, urgent, urgent, urgent. Get yourself a freaking plan. Get a plan down, write it down. Say, I'm going to buy Ethereum at this much. If it goes past this price, I need to sell it. And I want to sell out at this target price. Do something in that regard. Otherwise, we're going to get to the top of this market and you're not going to know what to do. You're going to be scrambling on YouTube looking for the hopium dealers who are telling you it's going to 100,000 or 200,000. Who knows what they're going to say about Ethereum when it gets to that point. But basically, have yourself a plan now. Doesn't matter if you have to change it later, just start out and write it down. Write it down how much I'm buying Ethereum for, how much you're willing to lose on that trade. Because like we saw last week, Ethereum dropped by 10 or 14%. People were freaking out thinking it was going past $1,000 again. So keep that in mind. That is the major part here. That is the urgent part. You know I'm a nopium dealer out of this. So I need to give you something that's going to be worthwhile for your time clicking onto the video. If you have clicked on and you're just finding me for the first time, thank you very much. My name is Jason Pizzino. Join us on the channel where we dish out all of your cryptocurrency, hopium free. That's why I call it an opium. Uh, subscribe, share, comment down below what price you are looking to buy Ethereum at and if you've got a plan. If you do find value, hit me up in the likes click those things, make it go nuts because that helps the channel out in the YouTube algorithm and just push us out there so more people don't get burnt by delusional price targets. All right, guys, let's take a look at a few things today. I'm going to look at some charts, going to look at some news, piece it all together. We've just done a live stream. So if you want to be on board for those, make sure you do hit that subscribe and the bell notification icon so you can see when my videos are popping up. Uh, let's dive across to the news and then we'll hit up the charts. Before we dive into it, I have to mention scammers. Now, it's not me in the comment section. If you see people writing back with WhatsApp numbers, Telegram numbers, email addresses, it's not me. My name has to have a little gray circle around the name. That's the official me, all right? And all the official links are in the description. I need to mention that because some people are still getting caught out from that part, all right? So let's have a look at the first thing, fear and greed. 74, uh, yesterday we were around 70. And last week, 79.93. So we have been declining, but we're just starting to pick up in that extreme greed section of this, the fear and greed index. This is for Bitcoin and the crypto market sentiment. All right, first bit of news I want to have a look at here is Frothy Squared. Crypto firms are lining up to tap market mania. Basically, what we're seeing here is crypto is chronically frothy. It's just crazy. You know, it's just bubbling to the surface. IPOs are chronically frothy. So we're in a frothy phase for both crypto investor and Bloomberg opinion writer. That's what he's saying. So when you get a, a crypto IPO this year, you have frothy squared. We saw IPOs last year in the stock market going absolutely bonkers. We're probably going to see it again this year. Add crypto to the mix and you have froth on top of froth. People just wanting to throw money at everything. Leads me over to the next article, Aave. Aave hits record $288. We did check this out in the live stream just a second ago. Basically, this is on Ethereum and it's in the decentralized finance space. So what does that mean? It means more for Ethereum. Basically, Ethereum is our go-to cryptocurrency. It has everything on it. That's all we really need to know because the rest of it is going to come from things like supply shortages. What I mean by things is price increases. We're going to look at the charts and try to decipher some of these price targets. But once we get into these bubbly, frothy, crazy points of the market, you just don't know where they're going to stop. We've got some price projections some price resistance levels in mind. So stick around. But essentially, like we've been talking about on the channel for weeks now is supply shortages. Well, I think essentially like spook the market and boost it so high that you'll eventually get the, 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 the demand or the supply come back onto the market to meet the demand. Basically, say we have 10 exchanges with one ETH each on them and you have 10 investors all wanting to buy two ETH from each exchange, that's obviously going to skyrocket the price even though there's 
not that much demand. It's just that there's not enough supply. So eventually you'll have uh, the supply come back on and dump that price. Because you could, in theory, sell 0 0.001 of an ETH for $50,000. And so the set price of Ethereum would be at $50,000. It's not to say that one whole Ethereum sold at $50,000. It's a little fraction of Ethereum sold at $50,000. So in theory, we could get to $50,000. But if you're holding one ETH, and you try to sell out one ETH at $100,000 and there's only 0 0.001 for sale, you're going to have to keep going through that liquidity book until you can meet that one Ethereum. So there might be 0 0.001 all the way down the order book, all the way down to 50,000. And so you might average out at a $75,000 ETH. That's essentially what we're talking about here when it comes to the, to the supply shortage. If we do get up to those prices, just hope that there is enough ETH demand to be able to sell out your Ethereum to the market. On to more news, Jim Cramer, the guy who always picks the tops of the market but tells you to buy the tops, tells uh, or advises the Powerball jackpot winner of $731 million to put 5% into Bitcoin. 5% comes out to around $36 million. We'll see if he does it. Hopefully, takes some advice Ugh, from Jim Cramer. It just makes me cringe. Moving on, Decrypt. Analyst gives three reasons why 1.6 billion in ETH just left exchanges. So another ton of ETH. Really, that's about 1% of the market cap. In terms of supply, a little bit less. So let's have a look at the three points. More than 1.5 billion of ETH just left exchanges. Analyst explains that it could have gone to DeFi, ETH 2.0, but it still doesn't add up. So we just scroll to the bottom of the article. Essentially, it tells us right here. But where has the ETH gone? Secondary importance compared to the fact that it has left exchanges. In our opinion, we think this means the price of Ether has a greater chance of moving up. The less Ether is available at exchanges, the more likely is the price to rise. It's exactly what we just mentioned on the previous article. If there's nothing on the exchanges for people to buy and sell, then you're gonna get a massive price spike. But it's kind of a false spike. Because like we just said, if you have one ETH and there's only 0 0.001 for sale at $100,000, then the next order down is at 90,000 for 0 0.001. Next order is at 0 0.001 at 80,000. You're never gonna sell out your one ETH for 100 grand. Keep that in mind. That's an extreme uh, case to understand the numbers, but that's how I see the spike or the craziness at the top playing out. We have to understand that or keep it in mind because as these markets unfold and more people are wanting to sell, the, the, the demand the, will come back to the market and the supply will come back on board. The demand will be there, but more and more supply will come out to the market. So that is something to keep in mind as we get towards the tippy top of the bull markets. Looking over to Google Trend Words, we're at uh, 90, 56, we were at 99 just last two weeks ago. Let me get those numbers, 199, and now we've started our trend down towards the 50 area. I think this will probably plateau out and start to make its way north again. So Google Trend Words, good idea to keep an eye on that. We are in a downtrend of that. Interesting how we've broken to new highs while we have been dropping. So that's the news update for Ethereum. That is the main agenda or the main narrative that I see happening for this bull market. Basically, the shortage on exchanges will create a false price point, meaning you might not be able to sell all of the Ethereum at that price. I don't think it's gonna be a problem for little guys like us watching this video. If you've got a dozen, a couple of hundred Ethereum, maybe you're around early in 2016, uh, it's not too, too much of an ask to have a few hundred, maybe a few thousand also. I definitely think that will be able to be sold out across exchanges. I think it's more for the big guys and if they're buying up now, looking towards the end of the market, they'll have to scale out of their investment. Say they, so they're buying 10,000, 100,000 ETH now, they're gonna have to scale out as the market increases because there won't be the supply at the top and that could cause sharp, volatile crashes on the way up. Onto our charts, let's take a look at Ethereum Bitcoin, Ethereum USD, Bitcoin dominance, massive one for why I think the altcoin season is here and will just increase exponentially from this point for a brief period of time. 
covered that in the live stream as well. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you see the content as it comes out. Uh, you get to ask your questions over there and we can answer it and talk about it in real time. Hopium free, of course. All right, Ethereum, Bitcoin, I, like I explained, this is the massive triangle structure and it has broken out on high volume. You know that we talk about this and we love breakouts. So we were getting to the the, the top of the triangle on high volume, sorry, and we have broken out on increased above average volume, but it wasn't as big as this beautiful big day to the top. However, we're still positive, we're above it. Basically, this is like the jail cell. Ethereum is in its jail cell here and it has broken out of its jail cell. If it gets caught and put back into jail, it could be a long time until it's out of jail again and it could fall. That's that's a bad case. That's a, that's a very bad case. So we've got to keep an eye on that because we're not 100% clear at this point yet, but I think we're definitely on our way. So from here, I'd love to see a little test of our double top. And this is also a huge, huge sign of a breakout if we hold above it. Double top breakout. Mwah. Beautiful, beautiful setup. You know, we talked about this so often on the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to quickly switch to that because this was the clearest, cleanest, beautiful breakout, uh, easy, safe. Any other word you want to put on that? Any other hopium word you want to throw there? Easy, safe entry on Bitcoin. This is your triple top, one top. We're on a weekly chart. Remember the macro view, we're not getting sketched out on hourly charts or any of that sort of BS. Here we are. There we are. Triple top retest. You know what happens next. Rest is history. Take it off log and we get the full view. That's beautiful. There we go. That is where we're sitting now. Breakout of a double top. Very, very strong, beautiful sign. And that just shows that we could be heading a hell of a lot higher. It's a bearish signal. And if you break bearish signals, that's usually a sign in the opposite direction to an equal or greater strength. So all we're waiting for here is a confirmation, whether it comes back down, whether it pushes up and then has a little test is yet to be seen. But the breakout is a beautiful sign. Double top breakout. You could almost call it a triple top breakout. There is another top here. It's a weekly chart. Remember, this is longer time frames. We could be looking at this as a major, major double top and a potential triple top breakout. Beautiful. OK, I've said that enough times. Basically, we're out of jail and we could be running free to another country on the other side of the planet. We could be shooting up here. There's your hopium for the day. Look at that. Let's pretend that we get to 16% of a Bitcoin. That means we're almost four times from where we are here, meaning we throw one Bitcoin into Ethereum now and we get to that point. Hopium plus hopium equals hopium squared. So just think of that. We could be up at this area here and we could have ourselves four Bitcoin by the end of this run. Let's take a step back just for a moment and use our measuring tool. Go up to the first top. Let's just step back on the hopium for a second. 100%. Maybe we get to 100%. Why am I choosing this? Because there's a, there's a top over here and that was a strong top. If we throw the volume on, that was the weaker, lower swing top before the market completely died in the butt. So that's the first target we've got to get through after here. Well, actually, we've got another target to get through, which is this low here at 0.054, call it that. So target one, target two, target three at the top here, and then we go for the top. That's at 15%. Round numbers, 5.4%, 8.3%, 12.3%, and 15%. That's where we're going for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. How much can we get? First target, 20%. Okay, 20% extra on our Bitcoin. Next target, 80 to 90% extra on our Bitcoin. Next target is 12%, 180%, finally 250%. And if we break those tops, beautiful. We, we have no idea where we could end up from this point and it could be absolutely amazing for all of us. So then we'll start to rejig our numbers and see where we could end up. I don't know if we're gonna get to that point. I'm skeptical we will, but even to these levels of 15%, we're looking amazing with our returns. That's Ethereum Bitcoin, Ethereum USD. We are looking pretty good. Let's have a quick look at this while we're here now. And we have just broken the top, so I'm gonna take out a few of these. 
weekly chart, we'd want to see, we're only a few hours into this week, we wanna see a close above the old all-time high. That's first said. Daily chart, 20 hours to go. We want to see a close above 1440, but the show's not over, even if we close where these old closes were. So even if we close down to 1300, no big deal. It's all good, all good. 1250 would probably be the lowest I'd wanna see this thing close. That's on the daily. Let's check it out. We're gonna keep up to date with it on the rest of the videos. Uh, the next thing I wanna have a look at is the Bitcoin dominance and why I think alt season is well and truly underway. Again, this was from a live stream. You guys asked for more live streams. I've been putting out the live streams. We are looking at a double top. Double top, like we know, if it was to break in the opposite direction, then that could spell a lot of mayhem for the rest of the market. But it looks like the Bitcoin dominance double top is actually playing out and we are going to see a lot of weakness in the dominance. So with a double top, the first target is at least 100%. We wanna to get to the bottom here. We wanna to get to 58 or 57% dominance. That's a long way from where we are now. That's 5%, sorry, give it 7%. And the next target from these is usually at around 150%, so that's at around 50. Now in the live stream, I did talk about 161% to 125%. All I'm doing here is this range. So see that range there? You're just measuring it in a vertical line and then taking that vertical line and dropping it down. That's why you can see this line is about the same. So all that's doing is taking that measurement and doing it again, that's 200%. So 150% of this range from the top takes us to about 50. So if we're out at 50 from 63, that is about a 20% drop on dominance. 20% drop on dominance, Bitcoin is around 600 billion, give or take, maybe this is 650, somewhere around there. But anyway, 600 billion, 20% drop in dominance, I doubt is about 20% on Bitcoin, right? I doubt it's going to be like, what's that? 60, 60, 120 billion, okay? So even if we took half of that, say it was about 60, $60 billion of uh, Bitcoin comes out to the market. Remember, it, the highest cryptocurrencies are Ethereum, and that's only at $140 billion. So say it's only 5% comes out, $30 billion. That's still one of the highest cryptocurrencies because Tether's only at 24 billion. That means 30 billion is going across to maybe fiat, maybe stable coins and other altcoins. That could really blow the market up in such a small dominance drop. So keep that in mind. We're gonna keep following this. This is a fantastic way to look at it. We need to see other ways to measure this dominance and how much money would come out if it was a 1% loss of dominance, how much comes out of Bitcoin. If I can find that, I'll let you know. If you can find it, definitely let me know in the comments section down below. It's gonna be a, a super variable amount because I think it's gonna be quite difficult to actually estimate the exact amount coming out of Bitcoin into where it's going. But nonetheless, we'll keep on it. That's Bitcoin dominance, Ethereum versus Bitcoin, Ethereum USD. A quick look at Aave because it's going crazy. All I wanna do here is just look at the linear chart and take a look at that hockey stick going straight up. Uh, it's a very hot topic at the moment. For me, I think I can find better returns elsewhere because when stuff goes like that, you know what happens next, usually that. But can it go like that before it does that? Possibly. And Aave is, looks like a fantastic project that it could do that. The difference is once we're at 270, 300, if we just get up to 500 or $600, it's only a double. No one's in this for a double. Aave would have to go to 1,000 or 2,000 per Aave to make it worth our while rather than investing in something like API3, which has also done a mini hockey stick, but this is only a 70, 80 million, 100 million, and it's the chain link killer. Keep that in mind. We're gonna dive into altcoins in the next video. So be sure to stick around, subscribe, share if you think someone can find some value from this. Like the video up if you found some value from it as well. And that's Ethereum. Can it make it to 10,000? I think so. Can it make it to 20,000? Probably. Can it make it to 50, 80, 100,000? Sometime in the future. That's what we're gonna be covering on the channel as we move closer to those amounts and not getting swept up in the hopium. I've enjoyed this video immensely, so I hope you guys have too. I'll catch you at the next one, but until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.